Hello, boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, yeah, gather around the campfire, right? I have found a video that I think we can all have a good giggle at. Now, just before we get into this, I'm not being horrible, but I got sent this by a friend and they uh, told me that some dove has partnered with Subway, I think, about bozzy positivity, which is funny considering that Subway is sandwiches. <laughs> So I'm not sure, they're, they're trying to say that you can eat sandwiches and, and still be happy, which, you know, is true, but, like, sandwiches make you chunky, monkey, you know what I mean? Jordan Underwood has got a, what we call hairy armpits. Dun, dun, dun. Again, I'm not one to judge. If you want to have hairy armpits, brothers, sisters, can let your armpits be hairy. I've actually been blessed with not very hairy armpits. I got hair when I was about, you know, 16, and it's not grown since, so I just have a casual level of hairy armpits, which is not hairy armpits. I just have hair in the armpit location. But these Chica, beautiful baby who is, uh, oh la la, so sexy, so sexy. She's talking about her underarm stigma, and I thought, let's check it out. What stigma is there about underarms? Talk about underarm stigma. Even though I haven't shaved my... Good gravy, I was not expecting that from the start. Um, look, body positivity is great. Be happy with the skin you're in. But let's not beat around the bush here, ladies and gentlemen. Being overweight is not a healthy life decision. If you want to die at the age of 50 and be pushed around in a goddamn electric wheelchair, that's cool. That is fine. I don't mind, all right? I seriously don't. Don't then have the audacity to complain that it's not your fault. We all control what we eat, what we do. Yes, some people have to work harder to stay lean, but it's just life. Some people have to work harder in everything. It's just part of it. But I don't don't believe putting your over your your body you know she's wearing pants there bro she's like you know what i mean she's put her pants on there and she's showing us it all if that was a man or you know someone who wasn't overweight you wouldn't have it would you if the lady was you know went to the gym and she was promoting her new gym underwear you'd be like this is fucking weird this doesn't belong on tiktok but because she's overweight and is sponsored by subway she gets away with it i haven't shaved my armpits in 10 years 10, I know we, I've stopped it twice and we're six seconds in, but 10 years. I mean, I cannot wait to see these absolute beasts. Release the Kraken. These actually den of wolves appear. Just imagine when she lifts it up and she puts like wax in it and starts spiking it up and you just see it like ping, ping, ping. She uses it a weapon. If she ever gets mugged, she just fucking armpits them in the face and prods their eyeballs out. That'd be incredible. You know, 10 years, that's good for you, man. There must be a Guinness World Record close to you at some point. I don't know. I sometimes still get self-conscious showing my underarms. She's got some hella lats, can we just appreciate? She's chilly been doing a lot of lat, lat pull downs and, uh, well, good on you. You know, again, posi body positivity is cool. Be happy the skin you're in, but let's not promote an unhealthy lifestyle. You know, uh, it, that's just wrong. It teaches kids the wrong shit. You know, I don't want to come across as if, like, being fat is bad. It's not at all. If you're happy, the problem is a lot of people who are overweight are not happy with the skin that they're in. And that's due to eating habits. There's lots of things that lead to body weight, but I just, I truly believe this is the wrong thing to do. You know, it's like saying... Let's say, you know, suddenly the COVID vaccine made everyone's arm, one arm fall off, all right? But not everyone, only some people, all right? Well, this is just bear with me, bear with me. So you then start making TikTok drinks and one arm rocks. This is good. This is positive. Look at my one arm, which is great. What about if other people start going, oh, well, I've got two fucking arms. I don't want to have two arms. And they cut their arms off. What are you going to do then, huh? What, are you going to complain? Are you going to be happy about it? I don't fucking know. I know you might think that's slightly extreme, but I, you know, it's a valid point. I have a valid point, bro. When I'm feeling the urge to shrink myself and hide parts of my body i stretch my arms out wide and remind myself to be free i stretch my arms out wide and take off and fly away using my really large wingspan no that was horrible i'm so sorry <laughs> This reminding us all to stretch our arms out. Before she said she had hairy armpits. Where, where's the hair? I, you know, I've got my popcorn out for this. I've even put my fucking contact lenses in so I can see it. Oh, there. That's 10 years of hair. That's not... I stretch my arms out wide and remind myself to be free in my body. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is it being hidden by the uh, underarm? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm not being horrible, all right? You know, if you want to have hairy armpits, boys and girls, fucking let your arm. If you want to have shaved armpits, go for it. But just don't promote, enforce it, and show me, all right? The internet. If I wanted to see hairy armpits, I'm sure there's like a fucking porn of category for that. I'm not into hairy armpits, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on what side of the fence you're on. This reminding us all to stretch our arms out and live life to the fullest with their latest Subway campaign. Did you know that 50% of people say that they've judged themselves because of their underarm? Because of their underarm. I look, I'm a, I'm a thin dude. I I I work out lightly, you know. I'm I uh, you know, take a bit of uh, chicken, rice, broccoli. I eat that 3 times a day, all right. And if I'm feeling a bit naughty, a little bit cheeky, I might have a slice of cheesecake. If I'm feeling a little cheeky, I might have a slice of cheesecake. I've never once heard anyone go, "Look at my underarm. Do you mind?" I mean, you know, a lot of uh, a few 
you girls I know say, oh, I've got hairy legs, and you look and there's nothing, you know what I mean? They've got like a fucking grade 0 0.1. But like, you know, your wingspan doesn't make you who you are. I don't think I've ever gone, oh, cool, blimey. Oi, lad, get over here. Oi, hey, Jimmy boy, get over here, son. Look at the wingspan on here, mate. Look at the bloody underarms on there. Fuck it, no. Fuck it, that, mate. No, no one's ever done that in their entire life. If a woman starts speaking to you, whether they can take off or not, they are having a conversation with you and going, yeah, I like this. I fucking like this, mate. Next time you catch those thoughts creeping in, just stretch out your arms and remember that underarm stigmas. Watch this chick here now. I don't understand, Dove. You're promoting underarm or not underarm. She ain't got hairy pits and she's got a really toned arm and a good lat spread. I mean, you know, what the fuck is going on here, lads? Dove, Dove the bird. You know what I mean? They're promoting their wingspan, but like, what's going on? That stigmas and not a reflection of who you are. Comment below if you've ever felt any shame or stigma over your underarms. Well, what a what a what a pleasant video that was to watch. I mean, let's just get something out in the atmosphere straight away. Having uh, um, underarms is uh, part of the human anatomy, so don't go changing that. If you have big underarms and you don't like it, go on a treadmill and eat one less meal a day. If you're happy with your wingspan and you are happy being that, then fucking good. You should be. Everyone should be happy. It's harder. That's easier said than done. I'm miserable. You know what I mean? I, I, every time I get on the bus, I'm thinking, God, I'd rather have been run over it by now. She's partnered with Dove and Subway though, which is a bit of like an oxymoron if you don't know what that means it means it's a bit of a contradiction a bit of a like with wtf what has subway sandwiches got anything to do with it oh shit am i being a bit thick here <laughs> i've just realized they mean subway like the subway like the trains that's why everything's been on a train so f oh God. You know, she might have an incredible wingspan, but I do not have an incredible brain. Like, Jesus Christ, Harrison. Why would Dove partner with Subway? Look, again, I'm I'm happy that she seems happy and that she can put her, you know, underpants on the, well, what? On the internet for everyone to see and no one complains and puts on, you know, a t-shirt and said, nah, bitch, this ain't for me. Throws it away, goes in a handbag, gets some bloody Dove spray on so no one can smell the, uh, the sweat patches and then puts on her uh, camera, goes to the Subway and uh, makes to TikTok. I mean, look, I'm very happy that, you know, plus models are getting their own biz. They should do, you know, they should be models because not everyone's thin. I agree. You shouldn't have just thin people. You shouldn't just have large people. But promoting this being happy, being chunky under the underarm is, you know, fine. But I, I think it's a bit cringe and a bit difficult to inhale. It's quite bad to even be a part of. I mean, I, I do kind of wish I never saw this. Look, respect to this Jordan lady. I think she's a lady. Looking at the size of those bazunga goddamn. Like, no, but I think she's definitely a lady who um is just about spreading positivity which we should all do and people like me should come on here and react and make mean jokes about it because that's all they are at the end of the day it's just a joke it's just to try and make you laugh if you didn't laugh then you've wasted your time if you did laugh i hope you laughed lots and leaving a like will just tell me that you found it slightly amusing and didn't want to shoot yourself by the time you got to this part i'm gonna leave it there well done to jordan i'm glad she's doing well but let's not promote the wrong type of messages to little children that being eating loads and getting chunky is the way forward because it's not being happy is the way forward and if you're happy with the skin you're in mission success mate tom cruise would be very happy with you but if you're not there's things you can do about it and making these corny ass fake tiktoks pretending that everyone's happy because you know there's these stigmas about being having hairy armpits like who cares bro as long as you're happy who cares what other people think but yeah that's it i'm not being mean i'm being honest you don't like it eat my underarms bitch